Here we are with the transmission. Let's go ahead and start putting it together. So I've got a 56T um, Traxxas spur gear here. Part number on that is uh, TRA3957. I've already attached it to this printed gear here, but that's pretty straightforward. It um, keys into these three spots and then you run those, those three screws into that. All right, we'll then take this little axle here and with the Traxxas gear first, we're gonna put that onto that and it should key in because there's flat spots on this printed gear and we'll push it until it snaps in place. All right, we can then take these plates here. I've already pressed in the bearings that go into those. Um, they should be a really snug fit because we don't want them to fall out. So you might need to um, gently tap them in on a flat surface with a hammer or if you have like a small vise or something. But something to press those in so that they are tight. You don't want them to be able to, to fall out. So we'll take this piece here and, <clears throat> excuse me, and with this uh, this gear here, Traxxas gear Going towards the plate, we're going to put that shaft onto that bearing there. Making sure that nothing rubs when you get it in place. And then we'll take this piece here. We'll get that axle shaft to line onto that bearing here. And go ahead and push that into place. Again, making sure that this rolls freely. We'll now take some fairly long screws. We want them to stick through because they will be going into the um, frame of the snowmobile to mount this. But for now, we can run them in to clamp these two pieces together. You want to make sure there's not a gap here, but that we are about flush there. I'll do the same for this lower hole. Okay, now we can flip it over and the hole that lines up there, take a screw with approximate, oops, that length there, and we'll run that into that. Okay, so now at this point, you just want to kind of work that back and forth to make sure that you're not uh, getting a bunch of rubbing and that everything kind of runs smooth in there. Okay, now we can set that aside for a second. We'll take this gear here and we'll take this axle shaft. So we've got two holes here and then one out here to the end. That's what this will line up with. Again, it should be keyed to only go on one way. So just find that position, push it in until it lines up, and then we'll run a screw through that. You want the screw to be able to catch both sides just to add that extra strength there. Okay, and there we go, we've got that part. So now with those parts ready, we can go ahead and grab our frame. I have gone ahead and put in these two um, bearings in their positions there. And you might even notice here on this one, I did just a little dab of hot glue on the outer edge of that bearing. Um, the inner bit of the bearing still needs to, still needs to be able to rotate. So that inside here, that, that still needs to be able to rotate, but a little bit of hot glue there to just kind of keep this bearing from falling out. I have had that happen on me once where that bearing managed to work itself loose and, and fell out. So just a dab of hot glue uh, will prevent that. Okay, so we're going to take <clears throat> this shaft here 
And then our two uh, sprocket gears here. Now they should line up and they will go in here like this. They won't be touching each other, but they'll, they'll be with the gear part towards the outer edge of the tunnel. And they then line up with the holes on this shaft here. So we will begin to feed this through that bearing and it might be a little snug. Um, so just try and hold on to that bearing so that it doesn't come back out. And if it does, it's all right because you can just push it back on like that and then work it back into that hole there. Okay, and with it in the position, we're going to take one of these and we need to get it on there. And it should key in, it should only fit one direction. So we'll get it on there. Now I'm going to hold it up tight against this edge here to hold that bearing in place as I continue to feed this axle through. I'm going to get the axle just a little bit farther through like that and then take our other sprocket and key it onto there as well and then we can finish feeding this axle all the way through. Okay like that. Now that we've got the axle fed through and it's riding on those bearings we can now get these two sprockets to line up with the holes that are in that axle. Okay so I've got them lined up and now we'll take a screw for each one and just run that down through to lock them in their position. Okay, now that's in place and it should spin pretty freely on those bearings. So next up we're going to take this here and we're going to feed it into this position which now that I remember is a little tricky with this one um, tight in its position so let's uh, let's just loosen that real quick okay and now with that with that gear able to slide we can get it keyed in and then we can push this back into position so that that goes into this bearing right there. And then once we've done that we can line up these two screws with those two holes. I know it's a little hard to see with everything being black but there's a hole right there and there's a hole right there and these screws will line up with those. Alright, with that on there snug there just make sure that we get the hole lined up for this gear one more time. Go ahead and run that screw back down in. like that and then we just have one more screw oh I apologize that's gonna be hard to see but there's one more right here and we're going to put just a, a fairly short screw into that and that'll catch that transmission plate as well Okay, so that, that screw right there. And then you just want to make sure that your screw doesn't poke through on this side because it might um, interfere with something. But there we have it. That's uh, the whole transmission attached and ready to go. And then um, we just put the, the motor in. It mounts here. And then with its uh, pinion gear, it'll then mesh with that Traxxas uh, spur gear right there. And now that we're at this point we can go ahead and attach the skid which is pretty straightforward. It's 
going to take uh, two screws per side. Now these have flat spots on them here and here. You just need to make sure that those flat spots line up. So there and there. And uh, we'll use some screws about that length, just enough that it'll go into these parts a little ways to give it a little bit of strength. So you can go ahead and um, install that now. And there we have it. With the skid installed on there, ready for running our track through. Got our transmission up in place, ready for the motor. And uh, we're getting pretty close. This will soon be a uh, functioning sled.